Hi guys, this is Wemo. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new to here, I moved to US a year ago for my Master of Science in Business Analytics degree. Before that, I got my bachelor's degree from Hong Kong in Media and Communication as well as Applied Sociology. After last video, lots of you asked me questions about how I transferred my major from Bachelor of Arts into Master of Science in Business Analytics as well as how I got admitted to a top 13 US business school. So today I'm going to share with you my application story and how I prepare for a major transfer. Now let's get started. So in the first part, I will share with you my story and why I decided to transfer a major and how I succeed. It was the summer of my third year of university that everyone around me were planning for their future. Some of them were taking GRD tests for grad school and some of them uh, were working really hard for a return offer in the company and that urged me to think about my future. I was doing internship at Wenderman, an advertising agency, as an account executive. The working content is quite easy, I just did communication between clients and designers and some strategic planning, but I did our work a lot and the salary was low. That's the period of time that you started to be confused about what you are doing in the future for a living. Advertising agencies used to be my finest fantasy about world changing creativity. It's about beauty and fashion and all about this excitement. But the work I was doing then actually had nothing to do with that. Having been double majored in sociology and communication for two years, I knew that I wouldn't be a professor of research anyways because I chose my undergraduate major because I wanted to educate me to establish good values to embrace the world and cultivate good habits of critical thinking and lifelong learning. I was passionate about sociology, but what I chose to be a career should be different from what I loved instinctively. And that's the moment that I started to realize that I need to choose a true career for myself. At that moment, I did heavy research and talked to a lot of people, my bosses, my colleagues, alumnus, to make sure that I knew everything about the potential industry I'll be working. Starting from advertising industry, I knew that their salaries, skills, and promotions couldn't satisfy an ambitious one like me. Without a clear goal but didn't want to waste any of my time, I decided to prepare for GRE test in case I want to go for a master's degree further. After the summer, when I go back to school, I already got a very high grade on GRE test. I plan to both looking for part-time internship and graduate full-time job in Hong Kong as well as look for the potential master's degree in the US that I would like to go for. I wrote down my personalities and the features of job that I would like to do and did a lot of research on a qualified job. I knew myself as someone really need feeling of freshness and excitement of overcoming challenges. And I found myself really like strategic consulting, which contains client facing and project based, lots of traveling and fast pace and making strategies. The most close job function in my field is the position of making marketing strategy. So I applied for and got a part-time job in geography to get more practice. And at the same time, I did a lot of research on how people got into that industry. I spent several months at geography four-hour commuting, crafts the custom from Hong Kong to Shenzhen each single day. But it was a process that I made it clearly out what I really want. In geography, my team was great, clients was great, but it's the way that we're making strategies based on common sense and creative ideas that it makes me feel so uncomfortable because in sociology, we got every evidence from analyzing data. And it was a time that data-driven decision-making became popular. And I did read news about the consulting division of Deloitte Digital actually bids advertising agencies in making marketing strategies. I found education in sociology and belief in data was still in my heart and in my value. And I was so tired of a career with not that much threshold as advertising industry will come people from all the different backgrounds. Big data started to be the trend of future. Data scientist has become the sexiest job in a century. That was the moment I told myself that I have to seek a major transfer to business analytics in a business school. If you have made the decision rationally based on analyzing yourself and did a lot of research of reality, then congratulations, you've done the hardest part. 
after experiencing all the confuse and we are figuring out what you really want it's just quite easy for you to send out the application as is with your story of it so for next you just list out all your requirements for the school and find out the perfectly fit one for me that I list all the requirements that I want for a graduate degree and I divide it in them into a professional requirement and personal need so here are my requirements for a program that it should be an MSBA degree of a top 13 business school and it should be a step one with a three-year OPT as I'm an international student and it should teach analytics tools as much as possible like R, Python, SQL, Tableau and should super for me with no programming foundations and I want it to contain internship and practicum and have a good career service and active alumni network and there are also some personal requirements that I attach to the program that I want it to be close to Syracuse that is where my church is and in New York State because I used to want to work in NYC and it should be cheap for at least not that expensive as living in Hong Kong or NYC and it should as short as possible that I really want to work at that moment I did spend several times going through web pages of different schools and I did make a Excel sheet to mark all the different features of different programs to do true and false question and get a list of schools that I would like to apply for. I was lucky that I found a Simon Business School at University of Rochester, a perfect one for me that it not only meets all my requirements but it's also very friendly to people that are at the same level as me. I went to a alumni networking event in Shenzhen and talked to people in their career center and alumni to get a whole picture of the program. For GPA part, I have to admit that I didn't got a very high GPA. I was only like 3.4 or something, while others are all like above 3.5 and with more relative background in statistics, CS, or business. However, from sending out my application form to interview so I finally got admitted to that program, it cost only less than one week. There is no miracle of this all about that perfectly fit and I did show my analytic skills on analyzing myself and how I plan for achieving my future career goal and how their program could actually help me on that in conclusion of my story there are several tips I would like to share with you first of all always do preparation that provides you with more opportunities I'm very grateful that even I didn't decide whether to go for a master's degree I prepared for GRE test during my spare time in my internship there are lots of fixed requirements that you have to meet like GRE tests, like language tests of IELTS or TOEFL finish them as soon as possible actually it is the easiest part of your application you will spend most of time doing research and there will be plenty of things for you that you've changed your mind all the time so finish the fixed things first Second, write down the life you want to live, do research on the trend of career and see what makes it closer to your goal. As I mentioned before, undergraduate education for me is to help me establish a good value towards the world and cultivate lifelong learning habits. However, graduate school is something that after you're figuring out what kind of person you want to be and what kind of job you want to do, it trains the skills and abilities to help you achieve your career goal. I have been thinking of applying for arts and administration for years, but I know myself so deeply that I want to live a luxury lifestyle, that so I have to earn a very high salary, that I want to have a job with the skills that not so many people have, and I want to work in a fancy building and I want to work with clients that are making great value to change the world so I have to give it up and choose a more realistic one being a business analyst I'm not thinking getting plenty of money and investing art when I was older it's a tough process that I almost spent five months to make it clear, but it's the foundation of everything else. Another thing to notice is that the master's program in the US always costs one to two years, so make sure you make prediction about the trend in the future after you graduate. Some cream may be popular right now, but it's already declining that after two years it not be that valuable. So seek the trend. Data scientists, data analysts will be on hit for years as it's the age of the big data. So I know it's a good choice for me. Third, figure out the true reasons that motivate you to seek a major transfer. This seems obvious, but if your reason for a major transfer is only to earn more money or that's the trend of the age, it's not your reason. Admission team of schools want people who can successfully finish their programs and can really get help achieving their current goals 
better resources they provide. So if your readers are not personal assets that couldn't show your determined, it's not persuasive enough as it's harder for many transfer students with less previous experience. I would suggest you to write down all your past experience and past journey on both education and career to see what really make you want to have a change. It's really help you a clear logic on why you want to change and your future goal which will benefit through your application essay. The third one, research on features of target school, participate on networking events to get more information. You have to believe the hardest part of the application process is not the ability gap but the information gap as the school exists to help you fill in that skill gap. All you need to do is to make it clear uh, what the program could help you to achieve your goal and why you are the one they want. Talk to staff and alumni will give you a more vivid picture on what you will gain and try to establish personal relationship with the staff and let them know more about you. At the last of the video, I want to say, be confident. Being skeptical of myself has tortured me so much during my whole application process that even if I knew I was awesome, that I only spent less than one month full timely to get a high grade on GRE test, I still kept degrading myself and that kind of feeling almost beat me for several times. I would like to tell you is that everyone is unique. Show your uniqueness and your knowledge of the way you are choosing to go. I wish every one of you having a good result on your application. If you want to know more information about business analytics, how I got a job as an international student during quarantine or past education in Hong Kong, please leave your comment below. And don't forget to like, share, and subscribe my channel. I will see you in my next video. Bye! Success to career. Hey, hi.